Hi everyone, Melissa Bender here with my workout of the day. I'm going to start out with a warm up and it is going to be jumping rope. So here we go. It's always good to warm up your muscles before every workout. And jump roping is a really great way to do that. Oops, plus get some cardio in. Okay, for the next exercise, I'm doing burpees. So, hands go flat, feet jump out, you get into a push-up position. Do a push-up, jump your feet forward, lift up your hands, weight should be in your heels, and jump for the ceiling. That's one. Straight back down. Two. Three. Four. Okay, next I'm going to do a V-up crab reach. So, what you do is lay on your back, shoulder blades lift, arms reach, legs reach. You're going to reach up toward your ankles. Try to keep your low back pressed into the ground while your core is engaged. Come down, plant both heels on the ground, and you're going to alternate legs. So, my right hand plants, my left hand reaches to touch my right foot. So that's the first one. Now I do the other side. So left hand plants to reach my opposite foot. That was two. Three. Four. If you want to make it a little bit harder, make sure when you go up and touch, you go all the way down slowly and then plant. Three, four. Next I'm doing a low jack frog jump. So this time I'm gonna go into my plank position. I'm gonna jump my feet forward so they land on either side of my hands. I'm gonna come up, my hands can come to fair position at my chest. I'm gonna jump my feet in and out. That's one, two. I stay low the whole time. Three. I'll show you from the side. Four. Actually, that was five. Six. Seven. Okay, next I'm going to do oblique drops with an elbow touch. So we're going to really work our whole abs and core. But I'm going to plant my left hand firmly on the ground underneath my left shoulder. I'm going to stack my feet one on top of another and I'm going to put my hand behind my head so my elbow points toward the ceiling. Then I'm going to drop my hips until they touch the floor, lift, and then twist and touch that elbow down. That's one. Lift and twist. Two. Really, it's a challenge to keep your balance. Three, and that's a good thing. Okay, same thing on the right side. So my hand plants, it's gonna go directly below my shoulder. My feet stack one on top of the other. Left hand comes behind my head this time. Right hip drops, touches, lifts. Then I touch my left elbow to the ground. Ooh, that's one. Two. Three. Next I'm going to do temple tap abs. So again, laying on my back, abs pull in tight. You can still breathe, you should breathe the whole time, but your core should be pulled in and engaged. Your hands come to prayer position at your chest, legs extend out a little bit above the ground, and then I'm going to reach my elbow to the top corner of my mat. And then the other one. That's one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathing the whole time. Nine. Okay, next I'm going to do weighted push ups. These can be done without the weight. Um, then I just call them sumo push ups. So without the weight, it'll look like this. You'll go down, left arm comes up. 
right arm comes up. If you're using the weights, I have two dumbbells. They're light. I'm not, I don't remember exactly how much. They're not more than five pounds there. I'm going to hold on to my dumbbells and then I'm going to do a push up and I'm going to pull it up like a lawnmower pull. That's two. Three. Four. Keep your back straight the whole time. Six. Eight. Next I'm doing a warrior three lift. I'm going to do this on both sides, but I'm going to start out with my legs slightly bent, hand, fingertips touching the ground, my right toe reaches back behind me and touches. No weights on it. All my weight is in my left leg and especially my left heel. You can see I can even lift up my toes if I need to. Okay? And then I'm going to keep a slight bend in this arm, keep my core pulled tight, lift. I meant to say slight bend in this leg, not arm. And then we're going to reach out, activating our whole core, really challenging our balance. That's one. Light touches, no weight going down. Two, my balance is off today. Three. Okay, same thing on the other side. So this time my right leg is gonna stay planted, my left leg is gonna lift. So again, slight bend, fingertips touch, left toe touches, and then I'm going to lift, whoop, find my balance, and stretch out to warrior, or warrior three. That was one, two, core pulls in tight, three, weight is in my heel. Okay, next I'm gonna do sumo squats. So my feet go a little bit more than hip distance apart. I'm gonna squat, pushing my butt back like I'm gonna sit in a chair. Toes can lift because my weight is all on my heels. My chest stays up, and then I'm gonna lift my right leg to the side, and I'm gonna move that arm with it. This left leg has, still has a slight bend of it. So that was one, two, three, Weight goes in my heels on the squat. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, final round of cardio and the cool down. Again, jumping rope, just like we started, we're ending the same way. So keep your feet moving. Work out any tension you built up with that workout. <laughs> Thank you everyone for joining me for today's workout. As always, the workout breakdown will be on my blog. Number of reps, how many rounds I did it, all the information that you need. Um, also, I want to give a special shout out to my friends Mike and Tony who are competing in the Pittsburgh Pro today. So good luck. I'm sure you are doing a fantastic job. They worked really hard. They deserve the shout out. Um, and also be sure to click subscribe either on YouTube or on my blog if you want to keep posted on all of my workouts. So I will see you tomorrow with another new workout. Have a wonderful evening.